Good morning guys, it's Drina here. I hope you're having a great day. I am slowly waking up and totally exhausted and I just wanted to make a quick video about some of my physical and mental health. So um, my GP has said to me that she believes I have complex PTSD. I was reading a, a bit about that and um, one of the things, the symptoms with that is having unexplainable um, ailments, which I have a lot of. Uh, some of it would be explainable, but um, it seems to be too frequent. And um, some of the other symptoms are um, having been abused as a child, which I was, and also um, having uh, been in a domestic, a long-term domestic violence relationship. Now, I don't know exactly what's considered long-term, but I know I was in a very intensive 24-7 mind control relationship with a narcissist who I lived with the whole time. Um, afterwards, I was completely drained and depleted. I also just wanted to do a little shout out to uh, Sade Brown. She's a really lovely person, I believe. She's a recovering narcissist and her channel is My Narcissistic Healing. So uh, very aware a self-aware narcissist which is really refreshing so peace to you Sade and I hope that I I'm I'm just listening to the way that you've pronounced your name so I think I've pronounced it correctly um, so guys really good insight there if you want to um, have that rare opportunity to listen to a self-aware narcissist who shares openly and freely much love and appreciation and respect there for you Sade um, so yeah, just going back to my stuff, I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm pretty much in a lot of pain a lot of the times and I just, <sighs> sorry about my language, but often I'm feeling like fuck my life because of all the freaking pain. Um, so at the moment I've got tennis elbow in my left um, arm quite severely, in my right arm a little. and. I don't know that it's just from Pokemon Go. Oh my God, Pokemon Go, addictive. Um, but I think it's a combination of that, maybe my job and my lifestyle because I'm working in an office and in working at a computer. So always having my arm in that position where um, it's, you know, it's flexed. Um, and I'm not the best typer, so probably partially that as well where I'm intensively typing with two fingers two finger typing Woo! um yes yeah, so guys sorry if this video is shaking shaky it's a very quick one I'm just holding my phone and recording here I won't do edited videos by the way because I don't have time for that and I don't have money to get a camera and la 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 so yeah um it's going to be straight up what you see is what you get I have plantar fasciitis, my feet are killing me. I get swollen joints, I'm in a lot of pain. My fingers are hurting, everything is literally hurting. Left hip, left buttocks, sciatica, okay? Having shooting pains down my leg. Um, knee joints are hurting. Um, what else? My neck, my neck and my shoulders and my back are completely out. I really need to get a new pillow, I think. I need to find something that's really going to support my neck and make me feel comfortable. Oh, what else? Oh, uh, my top left tooth on the top left hand side of my mouth is still hurting. That back molar, that's what it's called. Um, not wisdom tooth. I've had all those removed. Um, yeah, so whenever I'm eating cold things, they've done a temporary feeling, a permanent feeling. This is all within two years. Um, and then the dentist I saw a few weeks ago said, I don't think it would benefit to do he said it's not that the f no is it a permanent cap maybe it's a permanent cap sorry um i don't think it's completely eroded but he gave me some of the toothpaste for sensitive teeth and i've used it only once so that's a bit slack uh, he said to hold some on there and see if that helps um and he said in his opinion i don't need a root canal or an extraction but then I have to change the way I chew and I eat and swallow and hold food in my mouth and it's so annoying. Um, 
I'm just really exhausted today, so I'm grumpy. And oh, there's one little issue with me and my partner at the moment. So um, my friend Stacy was talking about the little things and how they set you off, and I'm just, I'm feeling maybe a little bit uh, irritated, I guess. Tired and over it. Yes, and this is me in my pyjamas in the morning going, sorry guys, I'm really tired and I haven't, I uh, fell asleep on the couch, which was really bad for my health and got up at 4.30 in the morning with the TV on and the kitchen on in the light and I'm just like, oh, it's just drained my energy. So really silly to do that. Um, ouch, I bumped my elbow. Yeah, so, um... But I felt quite proud of myself the last few days because I managed to clean up a lot and cook a lot. And I've been maintaining that. One of the things I find is I really need to maintain my mental health and my anxiety by um, maintaining the house. I've got to have space and clarity. Otherwise, my mind is not clear and peaceful. It's It feels cluttered like my environment and my anxiety can go triple triple to what it is obsessive um uh intrusive thoughts and yeah ocd i'm going to make another little video about my ocd and how that how that applied to me when i was a kid and how it applies to me um as an adult and when i sort of became uh self-aware of the fact that i have ocd without knowing what the title was but then finding out more about it a few years later Anyway, just a quick one, guys. Um, I've had ki kidney stones. I've had um, all sorts of different physical ailments. And fatigue and exhaustion has been a mainstay. I've had my um, vitamins tested, thyroid tested. I have, the only thing I definitely know I have that is really not good and I need to change is um, high cholesterol. I have to change my diet now in the new year. Okay, no excuses, no more indulgence and yummy foods and fattening foods. I've really got to change that. Um, I've, in the last few months, I've felt like a constriction around my heart. I don't think that is healthy or good. It's just like a big squeeze and it's like, ah, what the hell was that? Um, so that concerns me. I don't have high blood pressure. Sometimes I've got low blood pressure. Um, thyroid is fine. My vitamin levels are all fine. Um, I don't have low iron or any of the others. My vitamin D level apparently has come up, but then when I got the results from the one of the doctors, they said that they're, they're constantly reviewing that recently, currently, because they don't believe that um, it's consistent enough. The testing is consistent enough. So there you go. That's from one of the GPs that I actually trust and respect and value his opinion. Um, what else? Yes, I've had kidney stones, so I'm trying to... Um, Waiting from from another uh, a urologist specialist that I have seen regarding the kidney stone pain uh, um, results of uh, testing for having passed kidney stones recently in the last couple of months. Um, because even though I caught a stone, a calcium oxalate stone, and I'm adjusting my diet for that, you always just Google diets for any particular type of stone. If you know you've had a particular type to then adjust your diet to st sort of stop preventing that type of stone and your body can, pr your body can create, create uh, five different types of stones. So that's something you can look up. Um, so, but he also thinks I produce the one, the ones that are the uric acid stones as well, which are predominantly produced by men. Um, but when I told my GP, uh, that I'd been to that clinic, she was like, oh, they're not really good with sending results through. And I asked her and she still hasn't got them. So she's requested for those results to come through. They still haven't come through the blood test, um, regarding seeing if I've got, if shortly after I pass the stones to see if in through my bloods that they can, um, calculate whether or not my body's producing uric acid stones as well. Um, what else? Oh gosh, I've had many pains and problems. I have IBS. So I've got irritable bowel syndrome. I've also got um, diverticulitis. So it's it's mild. It's not severe, but still, it, all things that I've got to 
watch what I'm eating. I tend to prefer not to have too much gluten and too much dairy because it does make me sick. Um, so, and I have done a low FODMAPS diet. So there's a few things. I've had carpal tunnel. I've had surgery for both my wrists for that. Um, so yeah, I'm constantly living in pain though. There's always something. There's something I could whinge about all the time. Um, I try not to, but you know, when you're in pain, you're in pain, right? So I'm tired, but I'm mentally not too bad at the moment. So I'm just going to keep pushing through my tiredness and get on with the day doing a family thing with my partner, um, lunch for his niece's birthday, um, out in the Swan Valley, Cavisham area at a restaurant there and hanging out with my girls, Ari and Emma tonight. Yay. We're going to have some games and fun and stuff. So I'm excited about that again. Happy new years guys. And this is, you know, what you see is what you get. So I'm not always going to be all like prettied up and stuff because it's not about how I'm appearing. It's about sharing who I am and how I feel. Okay. Thank you for the subscribers and for watching me. And yeah, if you want to talk about anything, leave a comment. I get back to people as much as I can. If I can, if I can't see your comment on the actual video, this does happen. Apparently, um, I should be able to see it when it comes through on a notification. If you've left a comment and it hasn't worked for some reason, maybe check your settings. I, don't, I, I really don't know what the deal is, but um, all the best and kind thoughts and well wishes and peace for everyone. So take care, guys, and yeah, let me know if there's something you want to talk about or want to share. You know, um, I'm always interested in hearing other people's opinions and their experiences in life, whether it's physical or mental ailments, it's fine. Okay, so see you all again soon. Bye.